Maybe, maybe I fixed it and I'm just not sure. There. That one turned out quite pretty. It's very pale, but I like it. I'm not unhappy with it anyway. But um, I can straighten this all out again. <clears throat> Put down, you know, the same kind of color, the same colors, and uh, do it over if I need to. But I think I'm going to have to try to find a piece of glass that's big enough to fit my area. <clears throat> so that I will be able to do this better. Because I'm thinking, like she said, the glass holds the, it holds the saran wrap much better. So um, I'll have to try that. And I don't think I had quite enough paint the last time. Because it really didn't, I mean, it came out very, very pale. Um, so I'm just going to try it with a little bit more paint this time. And uh, see what happens. Maybe it'll work out better. So I'm going to take it from this end first. That seems to work better for me. I'm going to roll it back this way, holding it at the other end. So it seems like I've got more color this time, and what I'll do is just scrunch it up. I'll take that same piece of paper, <coughs> lay it down, and press it out and see what I get. Hopefully, it'll be a little darker, or a little brighter, maybe. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, that came out. That came out really good. I like that one. Looks like it's got a big feather right there. But that's come out quite nice. I think I need to move my my lamp in a bit more. I've got the color on my table. Or the light on my table. But yeah, I like that one. So I'll stick that one over here to dry, and I'm going to pray to God that Fred stays asleep wherever he is. Because even when I was doing acrylic painting, Fred had a habit of running through the paint. I mean, there was one day that cat got the biggest bath of his life, but Fred doesn't care. Fred likes baths, which is very odd. Well, not really that odd. I used to have a cat that used to like to swim with me when I was a kid. We grew up at uh, Shawnigan Lake. And uh, every time I jumped in the water, the cat jumped in the water right behind me. And no matter how far I swam out and came back, he was right beside me the whole time. So it was kind of cool to have a swimming cat. I was the only one who had one. So now I'm going to try this this way and see if I can get another print off here. Because apparently you can. See how this guy turns out. Oh. It came out different. I have lots of paint here. So I'm going to try to put some of that on. Go over it again. Go to the places where I still have lots of paint. For now, this, <clears throat> this is my only way <clears throat> to make painty papers because just don't have the money to buy one uh, jelly plate. So I will continue to try to get this down and you know, maybe in a in our value village or secondhand store that we have here maybe I can find a piece or even a, a picture with a piece of glass that's <clears throat> big enough. Yeah, that's not not exactly doing it. Just keep trying. <coughs> I guess they don't they don't all need to be dark and you know, so that one's it's okay. 
like the colors though. I'll try to pick up as much as I can that's left on here. And see what I get. I'll add a little more. I think I'll put that over to that side. And I think I'm going to trash that one. And my desk with my spray. And I'm going to add some of my spray to this and get it wet again and clean off my brayer. This is my own homemade spray. Um, I used to make my own cleaners for my cleaning company. And then I discovered that um, if I just mixed them a little bit different, I could make my own stamp cleaner. And um, cleaner from all my stuff. It works amazing. I mean, you spray it on a stamp and the ink just rolls off just doesn't stay. I haven't got much less and left. I think I've got one big bottle of it left and you know I was selling it but um, that's how I ran out of it. I was <laughs> selling it all and uh, in order to make it again I need to be able to or order my base and uh, once I do that then I will sell it again. Put it on a Zibit store because it really works wonderful. It's the only thing I use for cleaning. And it can be scented. Uh, I made some for a friend of mine and scented it green apple. And like you can use it for cleaning your house, you can use it for cleaning your stamps, you can use it for everything. And she, when I gave it to her as a gift, she said she went home and she cleaned her whole house. So <laughs> she really liked it. So now let's try, let's see, let's pick out a, a couple of different colors here. Blue, maybe pale blue, and an antique white. Those might look nice together. So let's give that a shot. Put those ones back in. Pull that up. This great big box of saran wrap that I have, it has, it's a 2,500 foot roll, and it's 11 inches wide, and you get it at Costco here in Canada. <clears throat> I don't know if they, they probably have it in the States too, but um, it, it's great. <clears throat> it's the best saran I've ever used. Um, it sticks to everything. Oops, what's with you? Need a good shake, I guess. Coming out a little clear there. Try that again. There we go. I guess I better do that with all of them. I haven't used my paints for a while, so... Not these ones, anyway, so... Give them a better... Better shake than before. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake, rattle, and roll. There. Now, anyway, put my brayer somewhere. Ooh, that's pretty. This is turning out. There. I think that little, little drop. 
top of the glue with the clear in it just cleared everything. Okay, so let's get this all scrunched up. Maybe I'll take my credit card thing and see if that does anything in it. try. That one, that one came out really nice. Love the colors in it. There's a spot here on one edge that maybe I could put into here. Pick up a little color for that end. Yeah, that's better. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's a pretty one. I've been doing. I did my. First couple of flock swaps. Um, I received one already, and I've done the the page for it. Um, well, it was a two two page layout uh, that I did for that. I really like that. That's quite fun, you know, because you're working with stuff that you don't have. Somebody else has, and you know, they send the stuff to you. And I had so much fun doing that. And I'm just waiting for the second one to arrive now and when the second one arrives then I'll get it done too. But I, I just absolutely loved doing it. It was so much fun. You know, working with things that you know you may have never seen before and um, you know, napkins you've never seen and the painty papers because you know, like I just when I did it I had no painty papers to use to send or anything because um, I couldn't figure out how the heck I was going to make them without that jelly plate thing and then I watched Stacy and I saw this before I had to leave for Vancouver and I was going to spend that day making these and then I had to leave and, uh, and go. And so now I'm, I'm back home now, obviously, <laughs> and uh, maybe I can get a few painty papers ready so that the next flock swap I'm in, I'll have some painty papers to send to people that I didn't have before. And uh, maybe they will enjoy working with them as much as I enjoyed working with theirs. And... Uh, I like this. This is kind of cool on just on saran wrap. And like Stacy said, how many of us do not have saran wrap in their house? And uh, I happen to have 2,500 feet of it, so I have lots. I had, yeah, I had taken a little piece of saran wrap off that was hanging on the edge of from the last time I had used my saran wrap and I thought I'm going to try it see what happens maybe it will leave some sort of a little pattern in it so I will do that with this one and see what I can come up with come on guys Try to work with me here. Oh, and look, I've got two pieces of paper here. Well, that's okay, because I will put the other one down this end. Ooh. Pretty, pretty, pretty. 
Okay, who says that one? Oh, I love that. The blue. That came out nice. Sit them over here to dry. And then I'm going to take this guy. It's only got half of it on it. Straighten this out as much as I can because there's still, still some paint up here. can maybe add just a little bit more or just brayer it a little more. I see you hiding there. Come on down. There. And put this piece into here and see how the other side turns out. Oh, that's nice. Kind of looks like two different types. Pretty. Like that, like that, like that. I'm loving this, Stacy. So glad I watched that video of yours. So Stacy is on Pink Poodle Crafts, as I'm sure many of you know. Um, she was the first one I got hooked on <laughs> when I started watching YouTube videos. I started watching Stacy first, then Coffee Cup Crafts, um, and then Elizabeth Brewer. I love Elizabeth Brewer. She's such a sweetheart. And then I've recently been watching Let's Make a Mess, um, mainly because my life's been a mess lately, I think is why I started watching her. I was like, okay, see how big of a mess she can make compared to what my life was like for a few weeks there. But um, I really like her. I love her, um, her uh, glue pages, and I know that Kelly at Coffee Craps had... Uh, Coffee Cup Crafts had told me about her glue pages, and I didn't, I didn't quite understand it. But I've been watching um, Let's Make a Mess, and I'm sorry I can't remember your first name. Uh, Dawn, that's what it is. I've been watching Dawn do them, and I'm thinking, that's really cool. I like that, because it's like totally stress-free. You know, you just... I just got to get some magazines, like that's something I don't really have in my house, is a lot of magazines of any kind. Um, when I came back on the ferry, however, from Vancouver to Victoria, um, they have, you know, things on there for the tourists, like where they can get maps of Victoria, maps of Vancouver, um, max, maps of all of our island here. And so I grabbed tons of maps, and they had magazines about British Columbia and Vancouver Island and things like that. So, stupid me, I had a, a wrecked wrist. I don't know what's happened to it. I think it's my arthritis. But this wrist, when I bend it, hurts like a bugger. But this is the bag of all the different... These are the maps of Vancouver Island and the visitor's guide and more maps that I picked up. Um, uh, another magazine. Here's one on Supernatural British Columbia. Campbell River, which is up further on our island. Um, this is the BC Ferries on board. I only had one of those. Um, a visitor's guide, and my daughter, my stepdaughter was about to throw this away when I was at her home in Victoria, and I said, Are, is that garbage that you're sticking that magazine in? And she went, yeah. So I went and took it out. And then this one happened to be waiting for me when I came home, Bed Bath & Beyond. So right now, that's what I have as far as magazines and whatnot. And I thought they would be pretty cool, you know, like the maps especially, because I know a lot of you love maps. So I thought they would be cool for happy mail. So that's why I grabbed them, was so that I can use them, plus I can send them to a bunch of you in happy mail and, you know, even in flock swaps and things like that. I know Stacy loves maps, so she may 
get a map of Victoria, um, or Vancouver Island, I should say. I can't remember which ones I grabbed. I know I've got Vancouver Island, I know I've got Victoria, and uh, so I thought that would be kind of cool to send to people. They didn't have any free postcards, however, because I was thinking of Elizabeth, and I was trying to find a free postcard to send her from the ferry, but they didn't have any. So, and they're, th to buy things on the ferries is very expensive, so I don't buy things on the ferries, you know. I remember being on the ferries one time, and there was a lot of Japanese students on the ferry, and uh, this was years ago, but they had these you know, like the large Christmas bells, and they had made them into like a bracelet and called them bear bear warnings, or how to, how to get rid of a bear or something. And these Japanese students were buying them up like crazy because they figured that Victoria was filled with bears. So they were, you know, trying to protect themselves and buying them up. I didn't didn't look for them this time, but I mean they were charging a horrid price for them too. It was just unbelievable. But then that's BC Ferries where he is. The prices are unbelievable. Um, when I went over there, I walked onto the ferry, and they charged me seventeen twenty. And then when I got there, they're like, "What do you mean they charge you? Seniors are free." I was like, "What?" Well, then why did they charge me? And she's like, I don't know. So when I went back, came back over here, I was like, could I have a senior's ticket, please? And she said, sure. And she just printed it off and handed it to me. And I said, so it's free, right? She goes, yeah. And I said, well, when I came over to the mainland, I got charged seventeen fifty. She says, well, you shouldn't have been charged. What day did you come? I said, on a Thursday. She said, yeah, that's a senior's day, Monday to Thursday. And uh, so when I got back to... Then Victoria side, I went to the cashiers and they gave me the papers I need to send the receipt back in to BC Ferries and get my money back. So I'm gonna do that too, cause that's not that's not fair. And their cashiers should be, you would think, you know, kind of up to date on who who, who pays for what. And uh, they obviously weren't very up on on all that kind of stuff. Let's see, what color do we want to do? Oh, I don't want to do Christmas. It's too early for Christmas. But that's, I don't. I have very few paints, so most of them I did use were from Christmas because I made so many. Um, Let's try lemon and so many of the advent calendars and sold them last year. So I had a ton. Lemon and ivy make this sounds pretty. And this one is gold. I wonder how that would go. Or oh, maybe silver. Let's do silver. Not either. <clears throat> yeah. How pretty with that green. Looks like under the ocean. Well, 
as well experiment on things I've never done before. It's the best thing to do. Experiment and see what you can get out of it. Might not work, but it just might, so let's give her a shot. Love that color combination, though. Really pretty. Let's hope it comes out as nice on the paper. Oops. Coming out nice on my arms. I have to go have a shower after this by the looks of things. Ooh, I really like that one. Yes, that's nice. That's pretty. Like that one? And the, and the circles actually showed up. That's good. I'm, I'm glad they did. Okay, guys, let's straighten ourselves out again. Standard attention, the general's coming. Come on. That's it. I think I've got enough left on this brayer. And in this area, I can pull more. And now we'll scrunch it all up and do another one in these colors. This is addicting, Stacy. <laughs> you know? Very addicting, Stacy. <laughs> but I imagine that the, that's how you ladies feel about your jelly plates, too. Um, who knows, one of these days I may be able to afford one and it won't be so messy. But uh, until then, I like this way. It's kind of cool. I wonder what it would be like with aluminum foil. Might be different. Ooh, that's nice too. I like that. Pretty. You know, and I'm just gonna do what I've been doing and switch up the colors, you know, because I uh, have no, no worries about running out of um, the saran wrap, so I'm not worried about that a bit, and, you know, so I can afford to waste a little bit of saran wrap. Oh, some cool, cool colors for flowers, too, once I get finished with all this, hopefully. I watched that video of yours, Stacy. I do I like all your videos. So I think what I'm going to try now Everybody I've seen always uses, um, oh, I didn't wipe the lid off that, silly me, um, always uses three colors, I wonder what it would be like with just two, might be kind of nice, well I've got a spun gold in there I could put in too, but I think I'm going to give it a shot with just the silver and the red and see how that comes out.
just the two colors. It's so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I like that one a lot. So we'll give it another another roll out here. Sorry I'm not talking much there, I'm just got enthralled of looking at Okay, how's this one gonna come out? Yeah. There's some more silver I wanna pick up and over here. Okay. Don't roll too much or you're taking the paint off. It's silly. So I need another one. Wow, so I really suggest that any of you that don't have a jelly plate and don't have the means of making one, um, give this a try. This is amazing. It's so much fun. And I'm probably going to end up sitting here all day playing. As long as Fred stays out of my way, I'll... I'll be okay, but, ooh, that one came out gorgeous. That's a nice one. I like that one. Yeah, as long as he decides to stay asleep for the day, I think we're good, you know, because otherwise he's going to come running all through the paint. So anyway, I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I really, really hope that you give this a try, because you're going to love it. And Stacy at Pink Poodle Crafts, thank you so much for sharing your idea on this. Um, I absolutely love it and I think I'm going to give it a shot with tin foil or even maybe some wax paper and see how that turns out. Um, if I do, I'll come back on and, and do it. Right now I'm still too happy playing with the plastic. So anyway, bye everybody. I will see you again next time. And don't forget, creative clutter is way better than idle neatness. Bye.